Carotid artery angioplasty and stenting is one of the most commonly used procedures which is used to treat stenosis in that area. Now you have to understand what do you mean by angioplasty and stenting. So what doctor does it in these cases, the patient is awake, we give a small amount of local anesthesia in your groin area and from there in the leg blood vessel we place a tube which we take to the carotid artery. Then a doctor does angiography there to look how much is the blockage, do we really need to do a procedure there. Once we have decided to open up the blood vessel, then initially the doctor can take a very small balloon there which you inflate there so as to open up the artery. The balloon displaces the cholesterol plaque outside and the way is open in the artery. This procedure of balloon using a balloon to open up the artery is known as angioplasty. Following the angioplasty, we take in a device which is known as stent. So stent you take in there and you release a stent across that area of the stenosis from normal segment to a normal segment and open up the artery. So the stent opens the artery even further and it does not allow the artery to collapse back. So this step is known as stenting. Even after stenting, sometimes doctors may take another bigger balloon to open up the stent completely to a normal diameter. So these are the steps in carotid artery stenting, angioplasty followed by a stent placement. Now during this procedure, one of the major risk or fear is that the cholesterol plaque should not break off and grow into the brain. Most of our cases, what we do is something known as filter or a protection device placement. That means beyond the artery of the uh, area of the blockage, we place a device which is like a very, very fine meshwork of wires, what we call as filter. So that if anything breaks off in the procedure, it gets trapped in that filter, it does not go into the brain. It is like an umbrella with a fine meshwork which we have placed there. After the procedure is over, it is closed like an umbrella and taken out of the body. And the puncture site in the leg area is closed by using just hand compression or sometimes there are special devices which can immediately close it. So this is how the whole procedure of carotid artery angioplasty and stenting is usually performed.